Well, due to the strength of the US consumer, which is 70% of the US economy, the largest in the world, we think the chances of a US recession and a global recession are pretty low. But what could raising rates do to the stock market? Well, we go back to 1950 and the 15 re Fed rate cycle since then, as we show in the chart, and look what happened in the three years of the Fed was raising rates and three years of market returns. What we see is actually the average or the median result was rates went up by about 300 basis points, or 3%, which is what's priced in now, by the way, and markets went up by about 37%. So overall, a pretty good result. But of course, there were years when it went wrong. If you look at the 70s, when we had double-digit unemployment, double-digit inflation, you see we got quite bad results, high rate raises and low market returns. And in 1999, we had the tech crash, of course, bad returns then too. But even in the good cases, it wasn't all plain sailing. Even in three-year periods where we had strong market returns, we also got bear markets in that, our 20% drops. So these, this is not a timing signal, this is more for long-term investors. So what are we doing now in our portfolios? Well, we're not selling stocks because we don't think a recession is imminent. But we're not buying more stocks either because the opportunity isn't that big. The market hasn't fallen that far yet. What we are doing though is we're rotating the type of stocks we do own to more defensive profile so we can get through the bumps and take advantage of opportunities when they do arise. Thank you. Thank you.